In this video, we're going to be looking at how to create enhanced podcasts inside of GarageBand. The first thing that you're going to want to do is go up to the track menu and select show podcast track. You'll notice that the info pane here on the right shows up. And we're also going to want to click on the little scissors icon here on the bottom left. Next, we're going to want to highlight the podcast track and you'll see that we have a few different new options. You can start by filling in the episode information, like the title, the artist, composer, parental advisory, and a description. So let's start making some markers that will end up as chapters inside of our enhanced podcast. To do that, you're gonna to wanna to start by clicking add marker. You can see here that we now have this gray bar in our podcast track. That will represent the time region for a particular marker. Let's add some information to our marker. First, we're going to change the chapter title to track one. Next, we're going to add some artwork. To do that, you can simply go to the finder and drag in an image to the little artwork icon there. You can see now that we have our image up here under the podcast preview pane. Let's say that this first track goes for six minutes. We're going to go to the six minute mark and we're going to click add marker. You can see here that we've now inserted a new marker. This will be when the track information changes in your podcast. So we'll go ahead and do the same thing. Now we've got two markers and two different chapters. When you play back the podcast, you'll see that it first starts at track one, and as you play it, it will go to track two. Let's go a little bit farther down and create another marker. Okay, now let's say this is one of your tracks that you're giving away for free. So what we're gonna do is we're going to change this to track three. And then we're going to add in a URL. So we'll call this free download and we'll add in a URL. Now we've added a URL that the listener can click on that will take you to a particular website. Now that you've seen how to add new markers, artwork, chapters, and URLs, Feel free to pause the video here and finish creating markers for your mix. Now that you've finished filling out your podcast track and creating markers with your chapter titles, and possibly artwork and URLs, it's time to export your enhanced podcast. Let's start by going up to the share menu and then clicking export podcast to disk. You'll see that the default option here is compress using AAC encoder. And you wanna make sure that you have it set to AAC encoder rather than MP3 or else the enhanced podcast will not work for you. But when you're ready, simply click export and then choose the location that you want to save the enhanced podcast in. Then when you're ready, just go ahead and click save. Now I will say that this part does take a little while. When it's ready, you'll have your enhanced podcast and in a second, I'll show you exactly what that looks like. Okay, so now that our podcast has actually been exported, let's take a look at what we've done. So I'll open up my podcast here and I'll just make this a little larger so you can see. We have our album artwork here. You can see that we have a drop down that lists all of our individual tracks. And you can jump between them, and it, you see that it jumps in time. Here's our URL, which you can click on, and that'll open the URL in your web browser. As you can see, you can jump around, and also if you drag, you'll see that the album artwork changes when you get to that particular time. We also have the name, the artist, and the description that we talked about before up there in the inspector. 
So that's it for this video on creating enhanced podcasts with GarageBand. For more videos, check out thedjpodcast.com.